In honor of Women's History Month, the National Museum of African American Music is celebrating black women's contributions to music, culture, and social justice. This week, we're shining a spotlight on just a few of the black women DJs who move us to the dance floor. As one of the first and only women DJs of the disco era, DJ Sharon White played some of the most renowned clubs in the world, including The Saint, Studio 54, and The Roxy. The New York native, who is also an accomplished percussionist, actually got her start in radio before transitioning to the club scene. In her 40 plus year career, White boasts a number of firsts. She was the first woman to become a DJ reporter for Billboard magazine, and became the first woman to head promotions for a major label when she joined Motown Records. Her legendary sets at spots like Paradise Garage eventually led to opportunities to spin overseas. She traveled to Reykjavik, Iceland to perform at a USO facility and even ventured to Saudi Arabia to DJ a party for the king. White retired from DJing in 1994, but after a decade-long hiatus, returned to the booth in 2004. She continues to DJ around the world and in 2011 was inducted into the Legends of Vinyl DJ Hall of Fame. DJ Poison Ivy hails from Nairobi, but grew up in Dallas, Texas. After studying and mastering piano and cello as a child, she eventually made her way to Marquette University, where she got her first taste of that DJ life with her own campus radio show, Poison Ivy After Dark. She quickly became an in-demand opener for acts like Nas and Lupe Fiasco and joined Milwaukee radio station WKKV-FM as the first woman on the V100.7 Mix Squad. Upon returning to Dallas, she became a member of KKDA K104's Mix Squad and also held down the ones and twos for the WNBA's Dallas Wings. Now the official team DJ for the Dallas Mavericks. The 2020 Forbes 30 Under 30 honoree is a mentor, advocate, and activist blazing trails in communities and arenas worldwide. Novena Carmel grew up in a musical household, surrounded by an eclectic collection of rhythms and sounds that provided a steady source of inspiration. Born and raised in San Francisco, she moved to Los Angeles to study communications and African American studies at UCLA and began her career booking entertainment for LA clubs like Temple Bar and Zanzibar. Carmel, who also happens to be the daughter of Sly Stone, launched her DJ career in the early 2010s and quickly became a fixture at local venues like the Natural History Museum, California African American Museum, and the Ace Hotel. In 2018, she joined LA's NPR affiliate KCRW as an on-air personality. And in 2021, she took the reins of the popular morning show, Morning Becomes Eclectic. The National Museum of African American Music is now open in the heart of downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Visit blackmusicmuseum.org to plan your visit and purchase tickets.